Thank you. Well, the worst of the economy might not be over yet, but there might be some good news around the corner for Utah. That's the conclusion of a new study by a pair of economists. Richard Pyatt joins us with a look at how the, uh, this state compares to others. Well, that's right. There's a study that's been done, and it's called Rich States, Poor States, and it compares Utah with a number of different states in a number of different ways. How the state uh, has the ability to recover from the current recession is one of those ways, and it's good news for Utah. The state, according to the study, has a good chance of recovering and recovering first. The reason is that Utah is very attractive to a lot of businesses, in particular when it comes to tax policies and minimizing government interference in businesses. Utah is more attractive than a lot of states, according to this study. The study is done by a conservative group called the American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC, whose criteria is mostly financial-based. The study compares Utah to states like California, whose higher taxes are less attractive to businesses, it says. State Senator Wayne Niederhauser is chair of the Revenue and Tax Committee at the legislature. He says the state has been and setting the tone for a better business climate for a while now. They show that we do have a very attractive uh, environment for business and it's been stable and I emphasize this stability issue. We have a, you have a stable environment, business can plan on coming here and counting on that environment to continue. And Already the state has attracted high-tech companies in recent years, as well as those based on recreation, medicine, and energy. Could more of that kind of business be on the way? That's the question lawmakers are asking. Of course, uh, there are a number of different criteria the businesses are uh, looking for right now, and uh, they do agree that more work needs to be done. We'll take a look at specifically what they're working on coming up on KSL 5 News at 6.30. We'll see you then. Thank you, Richard. Yeah. Congress